Many tales have been told about Mulandir, the lost city of the Shapers. While some scholars go so far as to doubt its very existence, others claim that it was a utopia, an unconquerable city in a valley of never-ending summer. However, they all agree on one thing. Whoever finds it will go down in history. Me, Half. We've we found it. This is amazing. I agree. Now where can we find clues about the blood burn? Is Grim? Huh? Did you say something? I said, where should we start searching for clues? We need to find out more about the song. Ah, uh, the song. Yes, of course. Do you think we could rest for a moment first though? I'd like to take some sketches of this place. Are you joking? All right, all right, calm down, friend. No reason to get courish. The only problem is, deciphering the shape or tongue isn't an easy task. We can't just walk in here and expect to find the answers we're looking for. Then what do you suggest? I... Huh, I assume the Nexus would be the best place to start. The heart of the city. The Nexus? Long story. In short, it's every Shaper City's core. It's where they drew the energy for their constructions from, where they created their devices, and, and where they stored their knowledge. All right then, let's go. Just give the word. Do you see that? Can you hear us? Uh, I'm sorry, but we don't understand. We... Kwaslan. Za... um... Zaladar? Punara Yuganza. Zawayetu Kwanlar. Zanju. Nomyan Kesnai. Zanladar? Fascinating. You speak their tongue? A bit. I've never used it in an actual conversation, though. I still can't believe this is happening. We're, we're talking to a living Shaper. So you think this is actually the spirit of a Shaper? It's not a spirit, Tahar. This man, he's neither dead, nor undead, nor alive. It's almost something like an ethereal puppet string is keeping his life force in place. Not enough for him to die yet not enough for him to be truly alive. How long has he been like that? Do you know? No. But the signature of this magic that's surrounding him is unlike anything I've seen before. That's fascinating. Well, not what I'd call it, but yeah, I guess. So, what did he say? I, I don't think he was talking to us. He's not even entirely aware of our presence. I think he's gone completely insane. Interesting. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem a threat. I suggest we keep on exploring first, and maybe come back to him later. There's not much we can do for him now. Feels strange to do that, but I guess you're right. We need to find that Nexus first. Lead the way, Tahar. Yes? Sure. Interesting.
Another ghost. Hmm. Undead. Lots of them. How did they get here? They could be shapers, couldn't they? Or Hibernians. Only because nobody in our era discovered Mullendir doesn't mean they didn't. Remember that mage in the caves? Now would you look at that. Yes. Understood. <laughs> this way, right? Interesting.
Sounds like a plan. All right, here goes nothing. More fighting. Does this never Fair end? Let's they do will this. fall. Sure. One of our heroes. We should get moving. That's the way. Sure. Blasted armor. Danger up ahead! So, oh, Iskrim, how long have you been doing this? Doing what? Digging up bones, dusting off trinkets. I honestly always thought archaeology was just a hobby for the nobles with too much money. Well, it is, in a way. And I'd have to lie to you if I told you my life's been particularly easy. Especially during the Mage Wars. Yeah, I guess. Did you ever think of going elsewhere? Kalea, maybe? Finn and Mir? Why did you even leave Windwall? That's a long story. And regarding your first question, yeah, I have thought about that. Kolaya especially. Marvelous place for scholars. But then Rondar Lacane came along and offered me this opportunity. There, another ghost. That's a long story. And regarding your first question, yeah, I have thought about that. Kolaya especially. Marvelous place for scholars. But then Rondar Lacane came along and offered me this opportunity. Makes sense. Sure. Ah, yeah. Do you see that overgrown building? That's the Nexus. Nehaus Hammer. It looks just like on the stone carvings. Seems to be protected by some kind of barrier, though. How do we get past? Excellent question. I doubt we can banish that barrier by force. Maybe... Huh, yeah. The ghost. He might know something. Worth a try, I suppose. Let's head back. 
What do we need? Got it. Blasted armor. Mm hmm. This way, right? Sure. Uh, all right. Why not? Baron. Interesting. So Mullendir's watering system didn't extend all the way up to here. Or parts of it broke over the centuries. That it's remained functional until now is already a phenomenon as it is. Tiara's breath. What? What was that thing? <sighs> no idea. But it fit the description of that great evil the God King was talking about, didn't it? You're right. Huh. If this creature came to visit the goblins every once in a while, I can understand why they were scared. Now would you look at that? That's the way. <laughs> Blasted armor. More fighting. Does this never end? Help! Please! You killed one of our heroes. Interesting. Let's see. Yes? Now would you look at that? Sure. Will do. Sounds like a plan. They will fall. Dumb it down your guard. Yeah. 
You got it. That way? Nihalf's hammer. Isn't this incredible? The buildings are almost still intact. Hard to believe nobody ever found this place before. Right in the middle of Iskander. Understood. Mm hmm. Interesting. Now would you look at that? Mm hmm Sounds like a plan. Can you ask him about the barrier? Yes. Vorzan <clears throat> Devlar Zawa Yetu Zvan Yaras? What? Van Drax Vorzan Devlar Punara Yuganza Zawa Yetu Kanlar Zans Fu Nyan Kesnai Devlar Oh, I see. So? It's complicated, but I think I understand now. He's part of a defense mechanism, so to speak. His soul is bound to the city in order to protect it. I think he wants to be freed. <laughs> 